In this video, we're going to take a look at the spreadsheet we're going to use for the retirement project, project number one. This spreadsheet was designed so that you don't have to develop a spreadsheet yourself. We have one that you can use to put in your inputs and it produces the output you can analyze to come up with your retirement plan. So this is an analytical tool. Let's run over it uh, quickly here. We start out with looking at where you want to be when you retire. How do you want to retire? And in today's dollars, you can put together a uh, description of that uh, depending on how you want to live in terms of uh, what kind of a home you want to have, uh, what kind of cars you want to drive, how much you want to travel, entertainment, gifts, etc. And then in the section below that you have a chance to put in an estimated inflation rate uh, for the period between now and when you retire, the number of years until you retire, uh, these are the years where you will be accumulating the uh, nest egg that you're going to have to live off of when you retire. And also some estimate of a tax multiplier which is explained with the uh, note uh, that is uh, associated with the comment box associated with that square. Then from there you have a place where you can make an adjustment for uh, having a uh, predetermined retirement plan, a fixed benefit retirement plan, <clears throat> or Social Security. This is where you can uh, put that uh, account, uh, accounting for that in there. Then below that uh, you can use uh, put in an estimate of the rate of return you're going to get on your retirement benefits and then below that a place where you can uh, put in some kind of a plan for investing where you diversify your investments. Diversify means you spread your investments out over a number of different types of investments so that no matter what happens to the economy you have some kind of protection uh, because of using competing sectors of retirement um, investments. And down at the bottom it shows a, a composite amount that will be used to grow your retirement savings over those years that you're building it up. Then going back to the top there's a place where you can put in your starting salary uh, after you graduate and when you begin starting to work and then a percentage of which it's going to grow each year and this is a percentage that's a composite of both uh, cost of living increases, raises, promotions, uh, anything that is going to contribute to an increase. Now this is a, an, a composite number because in reality you could go years with no percentage increase and then through a promotion or moving to a new job you could get a 20 or 30 percent increase. So this is a composite. Quick note that the percent raise needs to be one or two percent higher than the estimated inflation rate uh, for this model to work otherwise uh, you may never get to retire because all you'll be doing is uh, making up for inflation and working for quite a long time. Then going back to the bottom we have uh, the results. First it shows how much you would need to save annually in order to retire. That's an average over the number of years that you're working. Divided by 12 you get a monthly amount. But this isn't very helpful because the average doesn't make sense. In the beginning you're going to be making a lot less and this number would be way too large to save. So we've provided here a savings gradient that shows how much as a percentage of each year you would have to save. 
so it's a geometric uh, gradient and then here is an opportunity for you to put in the company's match if you have a 401k uh, that you could then subtract from the savings gradient to provide in the yellow square your contribution you would have to save out of every paycheck as a percentage um, over the number of years that you're building up toward retirement. So this is the basic plan and if you change any number in the spreadsheet it changes the percent that you would have to save. So let me take one quick example. Right now this is based on working for 40 years. What if you wanted to see what it would take uh, working 35 years? So you put in 35 enter and then it recalculates and it jumped up to 22 percent. Well that's quite a bit. That shows you the impact on the number of years and uh, and what that means to how much you'd have to save. So anyway uh, this is the first video about the retirement uh, project and uh, the second one will talk about sensitivity analysis and how you uh, work toward a retirement plan.